good day guys thanks for joining us here this is tons graphics in this tutorial i will show you how to design a birthday flyer with the help of your pixel lab application please if you are joining us for the first time do want to subscribe to the channel and like the video for uh, more other amazing tutorials that will be coming your way and uh, that said without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into the video but before we begin i want to send a shout out to uh, Kandele Ewi, if I got that name correctly, he was the first person to comment on our last video. Okay, so we're sending shout outs to you. He's watching us from Nigeria. We're also sending shout outs to all other persons who commented. And uh, drop your comments. I'll be responding instantly to the first 10 comments uh, under this uh, video. Okay, drop your country flag. Tell us where you're watching from. That's it. Let's dive straight into the video and make things. Uh, begin to happen okay so for your sake i would delete everything and uh, start add fresh okay guys so uh welcome back so when you open your pixel app you want to go to your uh, three dots to set the design size so we going with the size of 1024 by 1280 then delete this default text and the next thing you're going to do to quickly proceed to background setting to now start arranging your background so we have a background that will be important into the design but just watch the video to the end to see how you can get uh, these resources okay so let's dive into the background once you click on background you will love to click on from gallery so this is a uh, from gallery option now once you're on gallery we're going to search through for the background um, I have this background kind of um, a window uh, blurred uh, background so I have it here it ties with uh, the picture of the lady in question so the color code here will just be matching now once you've gotten that you want to click back on this meter dot button and uh, click on import once again so on import we're going to import another section of um, uh, our background frames okay um, yeah so this is uh, another layout we just want to size this out okay so like i said watch the videos to the end to see how we actually came about all of this uh, background uh, that we are using all right so um lock this up and make a copy a duplicate for that so i'm going to duplicate this and once you duplicate it you want to go to rotate click on 3d rotation and rotate this along the y-axis then you click ok and uh, you want to also bring it here all right so uh, in order to make it blend with the background what we're going to do is to reduce the opacity okay so just reduce the opacity of this uh, let's say to about 30 I think 30 is good so to about 30 then um, let's reduce this other one also so just reduce the opacity so i missed this out we could still reduce it before uh, copying it so there are no troubles once you've copied since i've already copied it you can still go ahead and you know reduce the opacity all right with that done um let's check it out make sure it's on form so we can also increase this one all right uh, okay good so let's lock everything up right perfect now our background is set next thing we're going to do is to bring in the image of Aisha so um, I have her image with me here so this is for Aisha so we just want to crop this in order to bring this to focus so uh, make no mistakes the color uh, the color flowing in the design is uh, typically related to the color of her dress so i guess that's why we're using these kind of colors here all right so let's uh, let's try to lock this up for now and see how it goes so once you've achieved this all right let's uh, reduce the size of the image a bit okay i think it was too big so you should have little position now to make sure that it's on the middle of your work and as you follow the video Please kindly subscribe to the channel and like this video okay for more other awesome amazing 
and amazing tutorials thank you so much okay so we're going to bring in another uh, background layer uh, for manipulation sake so i have uh, i have this one here with me all right and uh yeah we're going to you know just crop this out so uh it's kind of a, a curtain so use lazy position to measures in the middle then you can also lock this up now once we've achieved all of these uh we're going to create some fading here to enable us uh, bring in the birthday text so go to your draw tool and increase the pen size this is something that if you have been following us for long you already know how we do this with the draw tool so once you have increased your um you've increased your pen size all right and um, you've increased the smoothness to 100 percent increase the blurness also uh sorry so let me let me just take that again so make sure that you have increased your pen size to 100 percent your smoothness to 100 percent and blur radius now on the screen you are just going to tap your finger and you'll get this click on the check mark all right so just uh click on your check mark all right and after doing that increase this in size a bit stretch it out and position it here now um we're going to pick a color possibly the color of uh, our dress so go to color change this then let's see all right good so it's fine but let me show you how i came about this color so click on color enable your color click on the plus button then subscribe to the channel like the video drop your comments uh tell us where you're watching from i believe we are having a lot of people watching from nigeria from Sierra Leone, watching us also from Ghana. Hello, Accra. We love you all. So drop your comments. Uh, we got someone watching from Cameroon. Wow, that's amazing. So drop your country flag in the comments below, right? So watch the video also to the end to see how we are going to edit the picture to make it brighter, to edit the design to make it more uh, vibrant, and also how you can get the resources. Very important, all right? And uh, if you want to repli replicate the design, tell us in the comments. I will drop the community WhatsApp group link where you can join and be part of us. So we are here uh, with this uh, shadow that we created or call the shadow or uh, blood effect. We want to change the color, right? So click on plus button. And you are going to use your color picker okay use your color picker now we're going to select the image of the lady and automatically uh, it will click here it will just appear here so we're okay with that color we check the color monitor everything is cool okay then click on the check mark to make it happen so we have this right i believe you can see this now right okay so we can even extend it a bit okay then uh use lazy position to make sure it's in the middle of your work then lock everything up okay so once you've achieved all of this uh, it's time for us to bring in some text into the design to make things begin to happen so the first thing we're going to do is to go to our text and on new text we're writing happy birthday happy birthday all this should be in capital letters now bring it down here so when you bring it down here we're going to use um change the color so go to color and we're going to use this dark color or otherwise you can pick it also using the same method that we picked the first color here you can pick it from this uh, mm -hmm. curtain that we have uh, here all right so I'm maintaining the same color and uh, yeah go to your fonts then subscribe to the channel so go to fonts I want to use a very simple font here and it's a font that is part of a very common and uh, uh, mostly use font family we're talking about Montserrat so I'm going to search for Montserrat and I'm going for the Montserrat medium then you click on ok so we have this just going to reduce this neatly and you know um, make it smaller in size then we use our spacing space this out to about 10 then click ok and you are good to go go to the position 
make sure it's uh, centralized to the middle of your work try sending it off a bit then copy the text and double tap 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 to write Aisha so like I said it's for a very um, uh, Muslim uh, faithful so her name is Aisha on her birthday this is actually the first time we're doing a design for a Muslim um, faithful so I hope uh, the Muslim community uh, will like the name Aisha if your name by coincidence is Aisha also tell us in the comment section and uh, don't forget to like the video as you do that so I'm going to increase the name all right let's make it the subject of the design since um, it's the main focus here I'm going to make this bigger so I have happy birthday Aisha and um, for obvious reasons I want to copy this happy birthday again just so I maintain the same font and I write live long and excel so this is a very simple straight to the point design live long and uh, excel good so let's make this in capital letters bring it down here and uh, reduce it in size so as you reduce this in size use your lazy position to make sure it's on the middle then you want to go to spacing to space this out like really well let's leave it at 65 and um, use lazy position once again to make sure it's on the middle of your work then everything is moving as planned subscribe to the channel but then we're going to shift the text a little further downwards okay so uh, it appears there is a lot of space down here which is um, there's a lot of space down here yeah which is not making sense so you're going to go to what to our layer select all the text and try shifting them uh, you know downwards a bit so once you achieve this um it's time for us to write her some awesome birthday wishes i'm going to copy this text and write um uh, elegant of course she's very elegant elegant uh, we have the next line beautiful okay then the next line uh what other wish again do these ladies like okay so we can say she's uh um kind yeah so we're going to write she's uh, smart and kind so and kind now make everything to fall in capital letters then you click on ok and remember that we had space out this uh, text so we're going to undo the spacing okay so this is where you undo spacing by clicking by simply keep clicking here then you click on your check mark now reduce this neatly and you know just leave it like that so we have beautiful elegant and uh, smart not leaving out the fact that she's very kind yeah that's Aisha for you now um I have this ribbon or not a ribbon I have this uh, other 3d image here so I'm just going to bring it into the design to you know spark things up this is where we're going to put the date but it's optional because you can as well put the date without this element right okay so go to color filters let's filter out this color and uh, see if we can get something you know close to the color harmony in the design so we're leaving it at hue we're manipulating the hue to get a uh, value of 54 as you can see here then you click on what the check mark okay and that's it you are good to go uh, let's leave it like this then we copy this text and uh, let's make a copy and write the date so the date is going to be on the 25th of april her birthday 25th of uh, april all right then um let's use our little position now the position button to bring this text to be on top of um this element what about changing the color to white yeah so it will work now let's bring it here and uh, make sure that it falls exactly on the right position okay good so um we're going to bring it up a bit select the elements and bring it up okay subscribe to the channel to understand the video follow us through to the end to see how you can get the resources thank you so much for watching 
drop your country flag and like the video now we've achieved all of this and the next step of the design is really optional because the image quality it's really vibrant enough but if you are not satisfied you can still export this design into uh snaps it okay so you can save your work you can save the work because it's a wrap already and you can proceed to snaps it to add some other finishing touches on the design which is not bad but um you can watch our last video to see how you can do that but as for me i think the design is cool the image quality is on in form uh, but if you still insist we can still launch snaps it to see how that works so let's dive into stuff snap uh, straight away with uh, the next part of the video Okay guys, so welcome to Snapseed. Once you are on a Snapseed, you can uh, easily get Snapseed on your Play Store, download and install, it's free of charge. Then when you install, open and you see this interface. Now you're going to click on this plus button, which simply means import. So I'm going to click on our design. So here we are with the design. The first thing we're going to do, the first editing we're going to do is to click on tools. Then we click on details. Uh, let's increase the structure a bit right then you click back here click back here to sharpen the image a bit also so the image was already sharpened enough let's just sharpen it a bit okay um it's so about 20 then it's okay then you click on apply which is here on this check mark you are good with that the next thing to do is to click back on tools and click on twin image so on twin image we're going to step up uh, the brightness a bit to just eight then you click back here again and you click on contrast increase the contrast also to about 11 or uh, let's see let's reduce the contrast and see so you see just play with it so let's say the contrast should just be by five then click back don't touch saturation go to ambience make it a little bit ambient to about six touch the highlight also give the highlight uh, a value of about seven or so then the shadow let's reduce the shadow okay to about uh, minus 31 then the warmness Reduce the warmness also to minus 13. Now, once you achieve this, you are going to click now on the, the check mark. Then you click on export and click on save to save a copy of your design. So it's done doing that. I will show you the previous design. So this is from Pixel Lab. This is after pixel uh, snapseed has done its magic its usual uh, magic so stay with us in this channel we keep sharing creative ideas on smartphone graphics design if you love the video please kindly drop a comment uh, tell us where you're watching from and like i promised to get all of these resources just click on the down description below you will see a link attached to uh, all the resources i use for the video and we want to replicate the design to share with us on whatsapp Please ask, um, place your request. I will drop a community WhatsApp group link where you can join other designers and share your designs for their reviews. Thank you so much for watching the video. From my end here is love and we're hoping to see you in our next tutorial. Until then, stay blessed, subscribe to the channel and yeah, God bless you. It's Dance Graphics.